Hey, it's Dave with Regal Fabric Care. If you love needle points, this is for you. How not to mount one of your needle point weaves. Enjoy. Hi, it's Dave with Regal Fabric Care in the Boston area, along with my niece, Isabel. Hi. Today, it's just a quick tip. If you love needle points, you should listen closely. These needle points, all these pieces here, there is what, a six, seven, eight, nine of these pieces were sent to us from some um, a customer of ours in the Midwest. She wanted these cleaned. And these were made, these are dated in 1985. This was 88, this was 87. This one I'm holding was made by her dad in 1989. So there's sentimental uh, value attached to these. And her goal was to get them clean. She had taken this one off the backing and soaked it overnight, which you should not do, but she didn't test for the colors, but as it turned out, there was no bleeding. And there were, there's tips below in the description, links to how to test for bleeding before you would attempt to clean a needle point, right, Isabel? Yep. Yep. And um, so this is what the back looks like of this particular needle point. And her goal was to get the backing, this area right here, as pristine as this, which is not advisable because you can damage the whole piece if you try to do that. But this video is about the backing material. What they've used, what her dad used years ago, was this foam, this board, this cardboard material you can see it's basically a, a structural cardboard if the camera comes in and he sprayed adhesive over here and then attached it this way now we don't recommend doing that because eventually if you have to have these pieces washed with water-based detergents which is the best way to wash these as long as they're color safe then this could be adversely affected so you'd have to take all of these off and you might harm the needle point when you pull this all apart like this, okay? So what we advise you to do is to use either plexiglass and then on the one Isabel, if you can turn that up backwards, if this were plexiglass, you can tape the edges so it can't be seen when you mount it in a frame. On plexiglass, plexiglass is not affected by water and if you did this method, you would not have to glue the back to the plexiglass. You can also use thin plywood which would polyurethane and if this were as well kind of grab that mm -hmm. if this were plywood you could staple it here and not use any adhesives at all including tape so if you got any questions this is actually quite interesting 1983 it was made and there's a whole nautical theme here going on if you have any questions leave questions in the in the comment section below we appreciate you watching there are links below to how to clean these if you um, if you are so inclined. Thanks again. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. You get more like this, not only on needle points, but oriental rugs, drapery, carpeting, and other soft furnishings. Good job, Isabel. Yep. <laughs> See you next time.